Hi, and welcome to my series on 40 preparation tips for SEA Mathematics. Here is tip number 7. Today, we'll be focusing on two techniques used to solve a problem in geometry. Here is the problem. Take a minute, pause the video, and try this problem on your own. Okay, let's do this problem. The first technique that I'm going to use to solve this problem is a technique called logical reasoning. Note that the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the length plus twice the breadth, and this is equal to 40 centimeters. We can write this formula like this. Now let us separate the length and the breadth, twice the sum of the breadth and twice the sum of the length. 2b is twice the sum of the breadth and 2l is twice the sum of the length. Now it is a good practice when you are dealing with unequal sharing to start off assuming that they are shared equally. So if 40 centimeters are shared equally between the length and the breadth, then each will have 20 centimeters. Now you may say, but this is a square. And you may be right. However, it is a good starting point to reason this problem out. Now let us subtract the 4 centimeters from the breadth. If I subtracted the 4 centimeters from the breadth, then I need to add 4 centimeters to the length if I were to maintain the perimeter of 40 centimeters. This will give me a sum of 16 centimeters, 16 representing the sum of the breadth. This implies that the breadth will be 8 centimeters. Summing the length, we will have 24 centimeters. This means that each side representing the length will be equal to 12 centimeters. Upon inspection, we can see that the length is indeed 4 centimeters longer than the breadth. Now we can proceed to draw our diagram. And this concludes the solution to the problem. Another method we could have employed was a method called guess and check. Again, even in the guess and check method, we assume that the length and the width were distributed equally. In other words, we had a square. But if we had a square, this means that each side would have been 40 divided by 4, which is 10 centimeters. To do this guess and check, we cannot make any wild assumption. We need to make sensible guess and sensible check. So that when we start with the square, what we can do is reduce one of the side of the square. And if we reduce one of the side, we need to increase another side. So if we reduce one of the side by one, we need to increase the length by one so that we would have this shape in green. Now it is a rectangle, but upon inspection, we will recognize that the length is now 11 centimeters and the breadth is now nine centimeters. Although we would have gotten the same perimeter, the length is only two centimeters longer than the breadth. So we repeat the process. We reduce the breadth of the green rectangle by one centimeter and increase its length by one centimeter so that we will have this diagram. The diagram in red, we would recognize that the length is 12 centimeters long and the breadth is eight centimeters long. When we check, we will have the same sum of 40 centimeters being the perimeter, that is the length plus the breadth plus the length plus the breadth. This is equal to 40. Checking the other criteria, the length is 
four centimeters longer than the breadth. This means that the rectangle formed in red is the required rectangle. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.